Hi everyone, welcome to Garden Yarns. My name is Christine. This is where we talk about knitting, crochet, and anything yarn related. I am a knitter and crocheter myself. I do have rheumatoid arthritis, but I still knit and crochet every day. And I live in southern Ontario, about 15 minute drive from Niagara Falls. Today I have a few, well, a number of whips. Uh, I have a few finished objects and I have some Happy Meal and I went a little crazy with yarn shopping this week. So let's get started, shall we? I, uh, oh, before I move on, I'd just like to thank everybody for hanging out with me this Friday evening. I really appreciate that and we'll get started. Okay, one of my finished objects is the cute uh, teapot hand towel design. Uh, this I'm using uh, Lily Sugar and Cream and this color is called Soft Violet. I got this uh, the other day at Rose's Fine Yarns and I picked up some more things there so I'll show, talk about that in a minute. And I'm working on the dishcloth. I just got started on the pattern here. So that's coming along. It's a really ni nice uh, color purple. And this pattern is I didn't oh this is Daisy and Storm. I didn't write their name on here but I just had a flashback. And I also use to make the hand towel, I use the Simply Striped Kitchen Hanging Hand Towel designed by Kathy Waldy. She does Wishing I Was Knitting at the Lake. I believe that's what it's called. She has a blog. So, yeah, so that's my finished object. And I also finished... two more squares for my blanket so that's coming along I have a nice big stack now I should probably count them again to see how many I have this is all acrylic yarn I'm using in different shades of purple and variegated yarns and I'm not sure if I showed these last time but I was also on my knitting machine recently and I did this this is a red heart yarn I'm not sure if it was called Macaw or something like that, but I'll try to remember for next time. And I also did this one. This is that popular retro yarn that everybody's using to make hats. It's a Super Saver Stripes. And I finished the stocking. Let's see if it's handy. Oh, sorry about that. I hit the table. This is by so Sorella. It's a free pattern. Or you can buy a PDF version from her. I like how the yarn played out in the striping effect there. This is my first ever stocking. And we got to do a little hanging, t hanging portion here. So it turned out quite nice, I thought, for my first stocking. So that's finished. I don't think I showed that to you yet. And for whips, I have the, the teapot dishcloth that I just showed you. That's done of four and a half millimeter needles. And I'm also making another lovey. Uh, this is by Zelda NRJ3. So that's coming along. And again, this is done in the retro stripes. And I'm using the five and a half millimeter tulip hook that I like to use. And I also made some progress on my scarf. 
Um, this one here, this is just straight garter stitch. So it's coming along nicely. I love this tweed. Uh, the yarn I'm using for that is Charisma. It's a Loops and Thread by Michaels. And it says it's a bulky five. And I also started again another agate tote bag. Uh, this is color amethyst sky. It's got lots of pretty blues, tan, and purple. And this one, the lady at work asked for a smaller version of the agate tote bag, so that's what I'm working on here. And that's my little llama stitch marker hiding there. Keep track of where my row starts. And let's see what else. That's all I'm in, in the process of working on right now. So I'll move on to Happy Mail. I only have one to show. I do have my Crochet Society box, but I don't know if Bella Coco has released hers yet, so I'll hold off on that till next week. But I did get this. How fun is this? This is uh, Nitty Natty's doing a uh, sock miss, I think she calls it. I'll try to link her down below. Uh, I'm not haven't been too good at keeping up on my cows and everything so we'll see how that goes i get too easily sidetracked as you guys probably know about me already this is called castle at night and this is inspired by disney so there we go so i'm not sure what sock pattern i'm going to use but it's pretty festive i like it all the reds and blues and greens in there. I really like this colorway here. So yeah, I'm looking forward to getting started on that. Hopefully next week we'll see. Oh, this is uh, by Mountain Mist Yarn Co. Probably have trouble seeing the label there. They ha have an Etsy shop. So I got that. And then for yarn purchases, I went to Rose's Fine Yarns, that's in Font Hill. I went to a new store that somebody told, uh, mentioned on Facebook. That's called The Creative Knitter, that's in Ridgeway, that's about 30 minute drive. And then I went to Michael's a couple times, and Walmart. So I'll start showing you those. My first trip to Michael's the other day, they finally had one color of tea cakes in. So I got this color. I should have grabbed all five, but I wasn't thinking clearly. Uh, this is the color Rainful, and it's one of the tea cakes. I went to go back to get it today, the other two, but I couldn't find them. But they got a new anniversary cake colors, so I did get couple of those but yeah that this has blues and purple so it's one of my favorites so I did get I got three of those was one trip. And then my anniversary cakes are over here. I'll just get one out because they're big. No, I couldn't resist this one. Purple. This one is called 
grape. So that's kind of fitting. All nice and purple. I did get two of these. These were actually on sale. Okay, they were on sale for $25, I believe. And the regular $39.99, so a bit of a savings there. And no, I haven't worked on this blanket in a bit either. I did finish a hand towel set on the teapot design, but I mailed that out today, so I don't have that to show you. But this one, I think I just might do a regular, just a half double crochet stitch and well, chain 100 or so stitches and then do half double crochet, something easy and fun. So there's that. And then my other bag. From, this is from Roses and the Creative Knitter. The Creative Knitter just opened not too long ago. It's, it's a cute little shop. Okay, I did get three of those. I already used one and I started on the second one. This is from Rose, Rose's Fine Yarns. I'm trying to remember. Okay, this is from the other store. I got this vintage Barocco. Uh, this is made in Peru. It's a hundred grams here. Uh, this is fifty-two percent acrylic, forty percent wool, and eight percent nylon. And it just has a color number. It's five one eight three, but of course it's purple. I was thinking a hat or mitts out of here. And this is Barocco Vintage as well. This is color 5106. A gray. And then I also got another purple. This is called Orchid. And I got three of those. This will be another dish cloth hand towel set. And the last one I got at Roses, this is a new yarn, he said. Uh, this is by James C. Brent. Brett, uh, 100 grams, and it's called Rustic Chunky. Of course, you know I had to get my purple. Uh, this uh, color doesn't have a color name. It just says RU06. Just a moment. Okay, I'm back. Just a quick drink. Okay, so I finished showing you all the yarn from Roses. Kind of like a yarn store. He has antiques there and a flowers flower shop. Okay, and then I went to Ridgeway to the Creative Knitter. She was very nice in there. I got this pretty yarn by Estelle Worsted in this pretty blue. Looks a little bit more turquoisey in person. But I figured another hat or mitt seems how I seem to be into that lately. Uh, this color doesn't have a name. It's Q61229. And it's 50% acrylic, 40% wool, 10% nylon. And there's a hundred grams here. Okay, and then she has also this pretty yarn. This is a four weight. It's a uh, hundred grams here, and it's a hundred percent cotton, and it's by Cascade Yarns. And it's. 
made in Seattle, Washington. Uh, color is 216. And of course, I had to get it because it's purple. I may go back and get a couple more of these and maybe make a tote bag or something out of this pretty variegated yarn. And I got one more thing there. They had this cute basket with kittens with knitted sweaters and playing with balls of yarn. It's a very deep basket. I got my dishcloth in here right now. And you can pull this up. Get my yarn caught in there. And cinch it closed. It's a nice deep basket. And I believe this was $42. She had a limited supply of uh, knitting totes there. I just thought this was cute. The only thing I would suggest is maybe a little bit bigger or taller handles, but very well made. So yeah, so I got that. So, oh, and I was going to show you, I started one more project, I almost forgot. And I almost forgot my, my Walmart purchase. I'm starting a hat. This was, is Knitting for a Baby, her adult version. And I'm using my knitter, Pride Knitting Needles on circulars. And this is that new James C. Brett yarn. And I also got yarn at Michael's or Walmart. And I forgot I got this at Michael's. It's impeccable yarn. And this is Aaron Tweed. I thought I might try to make a lovey out of this, but I don't know about the little tufts of fluff with little ones. But we'll see. And the reason why I got this is I got some more uh, Beanie Babies for the loveys. I got this cute deer. So I was trying to match her with that, but then I found this at Walmart, so I might do that instead. Uh, this is Super Saver Red Heart Latte Stripes. I usually don't go for browns, but I find that this colorway is pretty, so I might put those two together. And then I was looking for some Christmas yarn because I found this cute little guy at Michael's. He's, got, he's even got sparkles on his nose. And I found these two reds at Michael's. I couldn't find any Christmas one like my cotton one, so I got these. This is Red Sparkle. And this is Bernay Premium Yarn that I use quite a bit. And then Red Heart Super Saver Metallic had this one where it's red on red. So very pretty. And then I also got these at Michael's too. Aren't they adorable? They're little llamas or alpacas. I think the way you tell them apart is by their ears, or that's what my friend told me. Uh, Ty calls this a llama, and it's, her name is Lola. So I was going to do the retro stripes luffy for these two. So yeah, I thought they were pretty cute. So now that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and I enjoy reading all your comments that you leave for me. I really appreciate that and I appreciate everybody uh, supporting my Etsy shop and my channel here as well. Uh, you can also find us over on Facebook. There's a Facebook group for this channel as well, Garden Yarns, and I'm also over on Instagram as well. So until next time, take care everybody, have a great weekend, and we'll see you next Friday. Oh, I, 
I'll leave what day it is down in the description box. I forget what day we're on. Anyways, till then, take care and have a great weekend. Bye.